Situated in a seemingly remote northwestern corner of Europe, Glasgow was an unlikely holder of the title of second city of the empire. So how did a small cathedral city on the banks of the River Clyde develop a stunning cityscape unlike anything else in Britain and grow to become one of the great industrial, cultural and architectural wonders of the modern world? People love Glasgow. If you take a cross-section of people off the streets of Glasgow of different classes, they will all agree that they love the city, even though it's got its imperfections, they love it. There was a really special moment here from kind of the Georgian era onwards, right up to the Second World War, where it's absolutely, everything just comes together so well. You've got all the technological advances, you've got all the various different phases of architecture that are all across the city, that all works together into this kind of seamless whole. Glasgow was such a cutting edge city at the time. The range of public parks that were on offer, the public buildings that were being erected, and the extent to which they were available, free of charge, to people of the city and the quality of architecture was constantly changing. Glasgow is a city people love to live in. Set along the banks of the River Clyde on the west coast of Scotland, the city is currently home to over half a million people. Renowned for its friendliness, Glasgow has a global reputation as a nurturing artistic and cultural centre, as well as a history of industrial excellence. Given its past reputation as a centre of heavy industry, the fabric of the city itself can come as a surprise to visitors. The townscape of Glasgow embraces its natural landscape, distinguished by lush green parks, spectacular civic buildings and streets lined with majestic tenements. But how did Glasgow become this magnificent place? with architecture that stands alongside some of the greatest achievements in Europe. For the vast majority of its early history, Glasgow was a small medieval town dominated by its cathedral. The city was inextricably linked with the Clyde, slowly expanding south from the religious centre to the banks of the river. The town grew as a result of trade, particularly in what is now known as the Merchant.